Hi everybody, welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm working on a makeup organizer for my granddaughter, who's 13 now. And she loves anything bling and pink. So we are going to do bling and pink. I purchased three of these acrylic drawers at the dollar store. And uh, I've been looking for these for quite some time. I've seen them in everybody's hauls, but of course our dollar store just got them in about a week ago. And they just slide in and out. So I purchased three of these that I'm going to stack. And on the top I'm going to place this where she can put all her little makeup brushes or whatever she'd like. I have the diamond wrap, which is nine feet. You can get a lot of use out of this. I've used these on several projects and I still have quite a bit left. And it's also from the Dollar Tree. We're going to be using some E6000 and hot glue. And I found these actually at Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for 60% off. They're supposed to be self-adhesive, but they're not, which is probably why they are 60% off. And I also purchased these that I was thinking about using in this project. They're the cute little butterflies. These were from the Dollar Tree, but I think that's a little too young for her. So, I've already glued two of these together. And the drawers are much easier to work on if you take them out. So I'm going to take that out and set them aside. Now on these I use E6000 and hot glue. And I'll tell you why. I like to keep working on my projects and the E6000 probably needs to dry overnight. And so I can keep working on it. I'm going to use also the hot glue, which I'll hold it together while I'm getting this done. Alright, so I applied E6000. There's these little ridges on the bottom where they fit together nicely. And then I'm going to, in between, just put a little hot glue. Alright. And you always want to make sure your little lip for the drawer is on the top. So we're just going to set that down on there, make sure it's nice and even. And now the E6000 will hold it together forever, and the hot glue will keep it steady so I can keep on going. Alright, now for the drawer, I'm going to use some of the diamond wrap, but I only want two rows of it, so... All you have to do is cut down the middle of this with some scissors. I've already measured this one out. And it's just that easy. And then I'll save this little guy here for another project. So I'm going to put this on the top of the drawer and on the bottom of the drawer. I'm just going to wheel some hot glue on here. And of course my glue gun's empty. There we go. With a little hot glue, and you don't want to go too far with this because it dries really, I mean it gets cool really fast on the acrylic. So we're better off doing just a little bit at a time. And we'll wiggle some more, come on, we'll wiggle a little more here. Do the same thing across the top edge. Making sure it's nice and even. Looking good. Now, I'm going to use four of these little flowers that I've cut off to put on here. And I'm going to just add a dot of glue to the back and line it up with this 
little line here. Try to center it best I can. Same thing on the other side. Oops. And then two more right next to the little pull tab here. I'm just going to put it right up against there. Seems to come out pretty even. And then one on the other side. And there's your drawers. So you just go ahead and do this to all three of the drawers, which I've already done to save some time here. And then you just slide them back in. So I finished. All right, looking good so far. I think it's uh, blingy and pink enough that she's going to like that. All right, now for the top. I think it'll be easier to work on it before I glue it on there. So I already measured this out to two and a half inches for the center. And I'm going to just put one of these little blingy, flowery things on the center. Right there on that dot, I just marked it with a dry erase marker. I'm not going to be able to see it anyway. Now we're just going to take some of this. I think I'm going to use the all three for here. I'm going to cut the little things off here. centered as best I can. And I'll put that down right to the edge. Alright. I'll we'll pick off all the glue webs later. Now we're going to put another one on this side. pretty good. Alright, now we're just going to cut this off. And glue down the edge. Stuff dries really, or cools really fast. All right, let's just put a little more around here. Yeah, I don't think I can even put one of these even on here. It just doesn't seem to sit right, and I don't want it to look off. Don't like it? We can always take it back off. Alright. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty cool. So now we're going to add some E6000 to the base of these. Not too much, because this stuff holds like crazy, especially on acrylic. I'm 
just gonna put a little hot glue, keep me going here. Alright. And make sure it looks nice and even. I think that looks pretty good. So there you have it, guys. It's our little makeup thing, and we can put some brushes up on top. You got your little drawers for all your little things that little girls have. Some ponytail holders, hair clips, whatever. So put all your makeup and nail polish, and you can put some eyeliners in there. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.